2018 exam 2 networks and decision making question 3 okay so this question says determine the EST or early started time in hours for activity I look it's a critical path analysis I mean when you see these things you're gonna have to do forward and backward scanning so you're just gonna go into the forward and backward scanning and there you go all done I'm not gonna uh, drive you nuts by going through that all slowly um, we're looking at activity I and we want the EST remembering that the EST is the green numbers in my system so the EST for this one is 10 and I know my unit is hours so I'm going to write 10 hours and we're all done uh, it says the most incorrect answer was 8 uh, so I don't know why people put 8 seems a bit silly anyway okay we're gonna find the minimum completion time we know that's a code phrase that basically means we're doing critical path analysis it says that for the project is 15 hours we did get 15 so we haven't made any boo-boo so far and of course critical path is where there's no float EST and LST are the same so we're gonna join up all those boxes the best way to do that is like that and that means we're including activities B E G H and J don't know if you need to do the dashes between the letters or whatever but there you go we have written down the critical path now what we're looking for here is that two of the activities have a float time of two hours we need to write down those two activities now the only place we can see a difference of two in the boxes is this one so we might think okay there's a float of two on C but I've, as I've pointed out in other videos uh, this float technique doesn't always work brilliantly but let's isolate C like this I'm going to write C comma 4 and at the end it has a box that says 8 9 and at the beginning it has a box that says 3 5 so all we've done is just taken all this section out and if you do this other technique which is you need the two end numbers and the middle number and you go 9 minus 4 minus 3 equals 2 and that tells you you've got a flow to two hours so we definitely know C is one of them and I'll show it actually works on whatever uh, one you're doing so if we just eliminate that the other one is actually is actually a because you can see they're on the same path so they have got to have the same float really there's no other paths involved here uh, and we can see a little two here but let's just take these numbers and see if that actually does prove we've got a float of two so I go like this and I isolate a comma three draw my box it ends in three five and zero zero and I grab the two end numbers and the middle number and I go five minus three minus zero and that does equal two so I do know it is actually a and C just wanted to show you that other technique for working out float uh, that one is bulletproof because um, you don't often look at these uh, activities and you uh, and see that well they're the same number it does it really have a float of two it is hidden there in that little two but just to make so sure this technique will definitely work every single time okay it says for the next upgrade the same project will be repeated but one extra activity will be added it has a duration of one hour EST of five and an LST of 12 now if we look at all our ESTs which are all the green numbers lovely as they are uh, can't see any fives anywhere not even in the little these are also ESTs remember for different paths um, there's only one place there's a five and that's coming off the end uh, the end of E so it's off the end of E is already our first answer and there aren't many places you can really join this back up to I mean you could join it up there um, but it wouldn't work in terms of giving us 12 as an LST is it um, so we can eliminate that and um, we can't join it up here because that would be a multiple edge uh, we can't join it up to here because that's the finish and we need to know what the start of the next activity is so it really only leaves us joining up all the way over here 
maybe x comma 1. Now remember, if you're doing backward scanning, the red numbers are the LST. So if we started with 13 on the red there and went backwards on the arrow, we'd have to subtract the 1 and we get a little tiny 12 there that we didn't have before. And that was the LST of 12 that we wanted. So you can see that's actually uh, joining on to the start of activity J. And that's the answer.